Uh, hi, in this video we are going to see what is MQTT and how to download the MQTT broker from internet and also how to publish the message to MQTT broker and how to subscribe it from MQTT broker. So in order to do that, first we are going to download the MQTT broker from internet. So before that, what is MQTT? It's a client server publish subscribe messaging transport protocol using which you can publish any messages to that particular MQTT broker and then you can subscribe from it there as well. So for example, if you are having some devices are getting pushing the data to the MQTT broker, then from other devices you can subscribe the data as well. So MQTT broker, it will be in between devices and uh, the publisher and consumer or publisher and subs subscriber in order to do the publish and subscribe or in order to exchange any kind of data. So in this example, we are going to see a web method as a client which is going to publish and also we are going to use web method as a client to subscribe the data as well. So we are not going to use any devices. Mainly this MQTT is used in IoT devices and all. So in order to do that, first I'll download MQTT broker from internet. So I'll just go and search uh, Google and say MQTT download or I'll say MQTT broker download. And there is a website called mosquito org. So I'll just download it from there. And I'm using a Windows. So I'll just uh, download the Windows exe file. I'll just click this one, which will download the exe file, which is very lightweight and it's already downloaded. And I'll just go into the folder and I'll just double click it. And I'll just say yes. And I'll just go and next. And I, I want this as a service as well. I want that particular application as service as well, which is already selected. And I'll just go to next and uh, I'll install it in my program files. So this is done and I'll just click finish and I'll just close this downloads window. I'll go to my services tab services.msc. Here you just search mosquito which we just installed right. So this is the broker which we have downloaded and installed it and I'll just right click and start the server which is bringing up your MQTT instance. So I'll just go and see it started or not. I'll just search with the M mosquito and it's saying running. Okay. So now it started. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to web methods integration server. There I'm going to configure my MQTT settings, which is available under the messaging. I'm using a web methods 10.11 version and I'm going to MQTT setting under the messaging link. I'm going to create a MQTT connection alias. So I'll just say, um, some name so I'll just say this is my MQTT broker or I'll just say my MQTT broker and I'll give the same description and I'll select some package I'll just in this case I'll do a test package and normally this MQTT broker it runs in a default port called 1883 and uh, my application also my MQTT broker also it's running with that port only which we have just installed it and then I'll leave every settings as default and I'll just click save settings and I'll just go and enable it. If the server is running, you'll be able to connect it. See here, our application is already running because we have started from the services tab and it's running and uh, we have connected to it. So now what I'll do, I'll just try to publish some message to the topic from web method. So if the topic is not there, then it will create as well. So I'll just go and create a new service. I'll say test and I'll create a flow service. I'll say publish to MQTT. I'll click next and then I'll create an empty flow. In order to publish, you have to call the MQTT relevant service, which is available in WM public package, which I'm trying to add it now in my flow service, which is available in a separate folder called MQTT. See here, there's a MQTT publish. I'll give OK. So here I'm going to publish where I need to pass connectionalized name, which is nothing but this connectionalized name, which I'll copy and I'll paste it here. And topic name, I'll give some name. For example, I'm going to publish some temperature data, temperature topic. Okay, so I'll just give this one. So if it is not available, then it will create it. And I'll just give OK because we just installed it. We didn't create anything. Okay, and then MQ message, we can pass the payload as bytes or string. For this example, I'm going to pass some string. So I'll just hard code some string value. Okay, so I'll just go and uh, go up, move up and then uh, here. What I'll do, I'll just uh, try to hard code that value for now, insert and uh, this is the temperature data, right? I'll just say temperature 
temperature data which is my string where I'm just going to hard code some data so I'll say some object and you can give even string value as well so in this example I'm giving some uh, JSON data so uh, my temperature data value is I'll say 12 12.3 okay so that's my temperature data and you can send n number of data as well by giving comma and a JSON so this example I'm going to give only one data which is message and I'll give OK I'll give OK here so the message is ready I'm going to publish that message so I'm going to map temperature data under my payload as a string because this is a string data and then I'll save this one now the service is ready which can publish the data and whatever it's not required I'll just drop it and yeah so almost everything is not required I'll just drop this one I'll save this one so now we have written a service which will publish the data to MQTT broker so in our example now uh, this public service is acting as a client or integration service is acting as a client which is pushing the data to this MQTT broker now once we published it any subscriber which is connected to the topic which is connected to that particular MQTT broker can receive that message so in our example what I'm going to do I'm just going to subscribe the same message because I do not have any device to show that so I'll create some MQTT trigger in web method itself in order to subscribe that message just to show whatever we are publishing we are able to subscribe to it in web methods we have similar to web method messaging trigger or JMS trigger we have something called MQTT trigger as well I'll select the MQTT trigger I'll say subscribe and temperature data right so this is a temperature data so I'll just keep temperature data and I'll just click finish so the trigger is created now where we need to select the MQTT connection alias name so that it knows which broker we need to connect and subscribe the data so as of now we have only one broker which I have connected to it so I'm just selecting that connection alias and then topic name what topic name we gave so the same topic name I'm going to subscribe it uh, I'm just going to copy that to copy from my topic name which is a temperature topic I'll just copy and uh, come to my trigger again and give that value okay so then service remaining I'll leave it default the QA setting I'll leave it default as of now there are three settings at most once at least one exactly once so there is some 0 1 2 QAS level so I'll leave it with default which is 1 and service once the services once the trigger is receive some data which service I wanted to invoke correct so that service I'm going to write it now I'll write that service as a process temperature data so basically this is subscribing the data and it's invoking this particular service where I will just log the message so instead of I'll just show how to log the entire data which is coming so I'm going to use something called trace pipeline which will log all the data so this is a trace pipeline whatever data is coming to the service whatever it's available it will try to print that in your server log okay so now oh, I had to save that uh, temperature trigger I'll just go to the MQTT uh, trigger and I'll just go to service and I'll select the service which we just created which is under the services folder you have something called process temperature data so now I'll save it so whatever the configuration required for MQTT trigger which is MQTT connection alias and what is the topic name and once the message is subscribed what is the service it needs to invoke so everything we have given it and then there's a decoding type whatever the payload it comes right you wanted to convert to string then you can give it to string as well so I'll just uh, save that so that whenever there's a data I'll be able to see it in my server log because in the receiving service I'm just uh, printing that uh, entire data which is coming into my server log using a trace pipeline service so now what I'm going to do is before that I'll just go and see this connection is still up and running so MQTT setting MQTT broker enable and status is running okay so it's basically uh, keep on try to connect and see uh, try to ping that server it's connecting or not so it's running now I'll just come back and I'm going to publish some data to the temperature topic okay because the data I have hardcoded already so I don't need to pass any input here I'll just give ok see here the service got executed so what might have happened now our service might have subscribed it because I'll just go to this server 
service usage and whatever the data rate subscribed by this particular service process temperature data is the service which is invoked from our MQTT trigger and it's invoked at 11.08 so that's my system time now as well now I'll just go and see the server log go to logs and click the server and you'll be able to see this is a topic name because these are the things available in your pipeline as well and I'll just see message see here 12.3 is your message which means when you run your publish service it's published the data to your MQTT topic and then this particular subscribe trigger which is a MQTT trigger we subscribed it and it called this process service the process service it's printed this trace pipeline data so 12.3 is the existing data and also the trigger icon if you see there is a sensing icon right in the near to the trigger so that is a MQTT trigger and now I'll just uh, change some data which is published to MQTT right I'll just change this data I'll go to pipeline and earlier it's 12.3 I'll just change this to 15.3 okay so I'll just say 15.3 and I'll save this one and I'll try to run it so published it I'll go and see my server log and you'll be able to see that 15.3 it's coming so what it's happening we are publishing to MQTT broker and we are subscribing to it as well so in this example we are acting as a client which publish and also we are acting as a receiving party the subscriber to subscribe the message as well in our real time use case either we will publish it some other device or some other subscriber will subscribe it or any other client will publish it to the MQTT server which web method will be interested to subscribe the data and once we receive the data we will be sending to other backend system so this way uh, we can use MQTT publish service in order to publish the data and also we can use the MQTT trigger to subscribe the data from MQTT broker as well. So in this example I have used the MQTT broker which is there in the same machine okay so under the messaging I configure the MQTT settings where I have used the same machine where I have installed the MQTT broker but in your real use case MQTT broker it will be there in a different server where everybody will be publishing it and we can subscribe it similarly we can also publish the message to any topic in this one I have published to temperature topic similarly it could be your uh, sensor uh, which wants to receive the data related to your uh, home devices like uh, TV or lights which you wanted to receive the data signal as uh, you wanted to switch on the TV or you wanted to switch off the TV so those kind of signals also you can send it any messages any lightweight messages you can send it to MQTT broker so that the interested uh, IOT devices can subscribe the data from MQTT broker thank you